Hello everyone, welcome back to Living Plantfully. I'm Emily and today we are back in my kitchen and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make an incredible holiday dessert. So as you can tell from the title of this video, today we are going to be making some gingerbread scones. Yes, I freaking love scones. They're literally like a biscuit like a dessert biscuit and I love that. We're gonna be infusing all the flavors that are in a gingerbread cookie into a scone. It's gonna be just the perfect amount of gingerbread flavor, sweetness, all of that good stuff. This is quite a simple recipe, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so to start off our gingerbread scone recipe, we are going to need some all-purpose flour. So I just have some all-purpose flour right here in this bowl. And to our all-purpose flour, I am going to be adding in some baking powder as well as some baking soda. I'm also going to be adding in a bit of some brown sugar. I'm gonna be adding into there some cinnamon. And of course, you can't have gingerbread without ginger, so I'm gonna be adding in some ginger. And you could add either one teaspoon if you want it to have a mild ginger flavor, or you can go ahead and go all out and do two teaspoons. And of course, to balance out the sweetness from the scones, we wanna add a pinch of some salt. I like adding just maybe a little bit more than a pinch. So we're gonna go ahead and whisk together our dry ingredients just so that everything is nice and incorporated. So I went ahead and switched that into my bigger bowl because I just realized that I used the wrong bowl for that. Anyways, so everything is nice and whisked up in this large bowl. So now I have right here in this little bowl some very cold vegan butter. And the reason we want it cold is because we are going to be cutting this into our flour mixture, okay? So I have found that the best way to do this without having like one of those little pastry cutter things is with a fork. So I just have a nice, like, I guess thicker fork. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that into my flour mixture. I want to just basically cut this into the flour mixture by just basically squishing it through the little teeth of the fork. Do this until you get a crummy texture with the butter and the flour mixture. It does require a little bit of some patience. You can also probably do this in your food processor if you felt like dirtying that many dishes, but your girl didn't want to do that. <laughs> After using that little arm muscle quite a bit, you should be left with this very crummy like texture. It should kind of resemble sand, I guess you can say. That's the closest thing that I can, you know, relate it to. So we're now just gonna go ahead and set that aside really quick while we work on our wet mixture. So for our wet mixture into a small little bowl, I'm gonna be combining some non-dairy milk and it is unsweetened and unflavored. And we're also going to be adding in some molasses. And this is like one of those things that's like super traditional in um, gingerbread, <laughs> like gingerbread cookies. I don't think I've ever seen a recipe of gingerbread or gingerbread cookies or gingerbread anything that doesn't have molasses in it. We want to combine that together. So I'm just gonna whisk this together until it's kind of like a uniform liquid rather than being like all weird and stuff. So what we wanna do is just basically make like a little well in the center of our dry mixture. So then we're just gonna pour in our wet mixture into the dry mixture. Using that same exact fork, we're just basically going to start adding our dry mixture into there just like this and just kind of like slowly mixing it together is the key with scones. And it might seem quite dry at first, but that's totally normal. It's supposed to form kind of like a soft, like ragged dough. If you've ever made scones before, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. So I'm just lightly going to flour my surface here. Look at me getting all fancy with the baking. Okay, so once we have our working surface area nice and floured, Go ahead and dump it on there. So working kind of quickly here because we don't want the warmth from our hands to melt the butter too much. You wanna press the dough together as best as you can, just so everything kind of comes together. So you wanna knead the dough lightly about eight to 10 times. By kneading, I mean that you just wanna kind of gather everything together here and just kind of like fold it into itself and roll outwards. So that was one, two, 
three. We're working very quickly here because you don't want your butter to melt too much because that'll create kind of like a flatter, more dense scone. And that's not what we want. So it should look just like this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of press my dough into a rectangle shape that's kind of like the same thickness all the way around. I have formed my dough into kind of like this little rectangle and it does take a little bit of work. You could do a circle if you want. That may be a little bit easier for you. So then I just have a bench scraper here. You don't have to have one of these. You can use a knife, it's okay. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and cut our dough rectangle in half. So to your best capabilities, cut that in half. And then each one is gonna get cut into three. So I kind of like to do kind of like triangles because to me that's kind of like the shape of a scone. I'm just gonna come in and kind of like score it first just to see how I like that. See how you make three little triangles. That's perfect. So just go ahead and cut that. And same thing on this side. So here we have our scones. And again, you can make smaller scones. I just wanted to make six so then we're just going to go ahead and transfer our scones just onto a parchment lined baking sheet so this is going to bake in our 400 degree oven for around 12 to 15 minutes or until the tops are nice and golden and firm to the touch. So while our scones are baking up in the oven, I'm just gonna show you guys how to make a very basic vanilla frosting or icing. And it's very similar to the one that I made for my donuts, only this one is a vanilla version. So it's very simple, right here in this bowl, I just have some powdered sugar or confectioner sugar. And to that, I'm going to add some vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna be adding in just a little bit of non-dairy milk at a time. So I just kinda like to eyeball it and see that's usually how I do it. And I want this one to be a little bit thicker just because I'm gonna drizzle it on top of our scones as you will see. And trust me, a little bit of liquid goes a long way when it comes to icings. So here is the texture that I want my icing to be because like I said, I want it to be able to drizzle on top of my scones. So it's better to start with a little bit and then add rather than adding a whole bunch and then you're like, wow, my icing is way too runny. So start off with just a little bit and then work your way up from there. Just in time, my scones are beeping at the moment. I just got my scones out of the oven. It smells really good in here. I can definitely smell that ginger, the cinnamon. And so you can see that they are nice and firm to the touch when I'm pressing down on them. There's not any like bounce or anything. And you can kind of already see how they're nice and fluffy and Mm -mm -mm. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool down and then we can taste them. And there you have it, my friends, my vegan gingerbread scones. OMG, these look amazing. They smell incredible. I mean, these are so perfect for the holidays. Can we just, can we just, can we just, I mean, come on. I'm gonna go ahead and break into one of these little babies. Oh yeah, nice and soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. Let's give it a taste. Um, mm -mm. <sighs> mm. Mm. that crispy exterior mm. mm -hmm. I love that scones are not like super sweet it's just like the perfect amount of sweetness and then the icing on top it tastes like gingerbread Mm. You guys, these are so good. Mm. I wish I could reach through the screen and give you guys a taste. Oh yeah, guys. 
Mm. That ginger, cinnamon, the molasses gives it that, just that gingerbread taste. Oh my goodness. What, like some coffee? Yes, please. These super flavorful gingerbread scones are perfect for the holidays. With 11 days left until Christmas, you're gonna wanna add these onto your Christmas baking checklist, you know, waking up to this on Christmas morning, like, mm, smells like gingerbread. Thumbs up to me for like, you know, embracing my like, kind of like hate for baking or like dislike of baking and just like trying it out anyways. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. You guys already know the deal. If you have not subscribed to Living Plantfully yet, go ahead and do so. The subscribe button is right down there. And don't forget that you have to click that notification bell so that you won't miss any of my videos that are going out. So this is one holiday recipe. I have a super special one coming for you guys next week. I can't give you any little hints or anything. You're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm so excited for you guys to see next week's video. Equally as excited as this one. <laughs> so yeah guys, thank you so, so much for tuning in to this week's video. I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys next week as always. Bye. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah.